Hey guys, uh, this is part three of the audio device series that I started. Um, today we're going to go over the simple delay. So basically just get started. You have your top three buttons like all the other ones have. On and off button, your hot swap button for your presets, and then also your save button. Now the simple delay is split into two different sections, uh, your right channel and your left channel. Uh, each of them can have their own separate delay. Uh, there's also this link button which basically will link them and you'll only have one delay time to choose from. The left and the right won't be different, they'll, they'll be the same. So we'll kind of keep, well, keep it linked for now while I'm going over what these numbers mean for setting your delay times. Essentially, if you click on 16, you're going to use it mathematically. It's going to come out to one or one bar. So it's because it's split into 16th notes. So if I hit this delay with 16 on, it's going to hit one. It's going to kick the kick. It's going to hit on the kick, and then it's going to go one, two, three, four, and it'll hit after one bar. So now, if I move it to four sixteenths, it's going to go. It's going to be if you take it mathematically four sixteenths down to one fourth, or it's going to be every quarter note. So it'll hit on every quarter note in this bar. So it'll hit here two, three, four, and it'll hit again. So uh, start here two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you had your feedback up higher, it would keep going. Um, so if you go to the first one, that's going to be 16th notes. The second's going to be eighth notes. If I hit it one more time, just to count out one and two and three and four and eighth notes, 16th, one and a two e and a three e and a four e. So, um, and then three is going to be triplets. Um, you go, you have five, you have five sixteenths, et cetera, which are going to have different sounds. So that's basically how delay time works. Um, you can link, unlink, and then your left and right, like I said, can have a different delay time. Um, now, there's two different types. There's sync and then there's time. So basically, the sync, which is what we had on, is measured in with your BPM and then in 16 notes. Your time is set in, like, the length is in milliseconds. So it only goes up to 300 milliseconds, but if you set it at, like, 100, uh, we'll put them both on time and we'll link it um, now one thing to know about this as well is that I think it's 20 or 24 milliseconds generally your ears can't actually hear the delay so what you can use this plugin for as well is creating space on your sounds so if you kind of hear the kick without it and then you put this on maybe like 22 milliseconds uh, go lower it kind of gives like a metallic kind of space. You can play with other sounds that might get more depth. The kick, I guess, is going to sound a little kind of funky because it's just a transient. But um, you just remember that anything, I think, I'm pretty sure it's 20 or 25 milliseconds and below your ear can't hear the delay. So you can create space. Now, to move on to the, to the bottom section, uh, we went over on the other videos, dry, wet, um, Obviously, 100% wet, you're only going to hear the signal of the delay. You're not going to hear the actual initial drum kick. So, you only hear it. You only hear the delay. So, basically, you bring it up to taste of what you want to hear the delay. And then your feedback, essentially, what it does is it takes the output of the delay and then feeds it back into the input. So, you have to be careful with this. You can get really loud sounds and hurt your ears really bad but you know just be smart about it and kind of turn it up as you go don't just blare it at 99% or 95% um, so if you just kind of hear the feedback up more let's turn this up to a higher one and then turn it down so it'll keep going so that's what the feedback does, that's the dry wet, and that basically covers everything with this plugin. Um, just a side note, since this is a time based effects and we haven't really gotten into that yet, um, when you're using these on the channel, that's why the dry wet is there and you can adjust to taste. But a lot, you know, if you're going to be bussing this kind of stuff, and there's a delay already on B. So, yeah, when you're bussing and you have it on, it, on its own aux channel, you're going to want to set it to 100% wet because as you turn it up from the aux channel, or from the, your actual channel, um, you're going to be creating that dry to wet ratio. So, just a side note: always on, not always. I guess you might have times where you don't want it at 100%. It just really depends. 
Uh, maybe if you have a chain of effects on this, you might have this only at 50 because you don't want a really large delay because it might feed into something else. But generally, you're going to want a 100% ratio when you have it on a bus. So that pretty much covers everything for the simple delay. Uh, I hope this helped. We'll move on to one of the other delays, probably ping pong delay next week. Uh, if you have any questions, any feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.